Running. Good for your heart, bad for ADD. In Conan, running is a part of life. And if your base is located far away from the resources that you need, you're going to be running for a long time. But fortunately, there's a way around it. The answer is the map room. If you have access to one, you can fast travel anywhere if you've attuned your bracelet to Obelisk. If you don't have access, you'll have to learn how to build one and then make one yourself. This is how you do these things. The map room is your solution to shin splints and knee pain. But don't throw away your running shoes quite yet, because there is a limitation. You can't just fast travel to any location in the map, you can only travel to obelisks. Currently in game, there are 10 obelisks spread throughout the map. This is where they're located. Not surprisingly, the obelisks tend to be located near critical points in the map. Starting on the west side of the map, there's an obelisk east of Set City, in the Dead City, by the Dregs, by the sinkhole, by Dagon's Eye, in the center of the jungle, by the upper staging area where there's also a tunnel that connects the jungle to the north, within the Mounds of the Dead, near the Cursed Mound, in the snowy biome near the ruins of Zulan, just to the west of the volcano, and in the heart of the volcano itself. So now that you know where the obelisks are located, your next step is to travel to them and attune your bracelet. Yes, the bracelet is that glowing green object strapped to your wrist that kills you every time you try to leave the world, but for whatever reason, it allows you to fast travel. Anyway, approach the obelisk, press E, and you'll be attuned. But don't hang out near the obelisk too long because you'll continually gain corruption. Map rooms can be used by anybody on the server, regardless of ownership. That means that if there's a generous player and he's made his map room public, anybody can use it. If there's no generous players on your server, well, you're going to have to make one. The first step is learning the recipe. To learn the recipe, you'll have to head to the heart of the dead city and speak with the ghostly archivist. Remember, in the dead city, you'll continuously gain corruption, so try to get in and out quickly. On your way to the archivist, ensure that you stop at the obelisk that's located right outside the entrance to the room. Attune your bracelet and then head in. Go speak with the archivist and he'll drop his knowledge on you. And you've got the recipe. If you're a new player or low level player, crafting a map room might be out of your reach for the moment. It requires four base ingredients. Iron reinforcements and crystal are easy to obtain, but corrupted stone and alchemical base is a little bit more difficult. The most critical ingredient for corrupted stone is demon blood. You can get demon blood from killing bosses and other high level creatures. The main ingredients in the alchemical base is silver dust and gold dust. Both of these resources can be mined through nodes, or gold and silver coins can be grinded down into dust. Whether you've built your own map room, or there's a public one on your server, it's time to fast travel. In the center of the map room is a 3D representation of the world, much like the control center in Westworld. And minus the AI killer robots, this is pretty similar. Around the outside of the perimeter are buttons. Each button corresponds to an obelisk. As you approach the button, the obelisk that it corresponds to is highlighted. If you don't have your bracelet attuned to an obelisk, it will not be highlighted. So once you've decided where you want to go, approach that corresponding button and press it with E. But keep in mind that you can't fast travel back. You'll have to find a second map room to teleport you close to where you want to go. Alright guys, that wraps up this video. If there's anything you'd like to see, let me know in the comments below. As always, best of luck, and thanks for watching.